Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So from this video onwards, we will be starting with the playlist on Structured Query Language or SQL and we will be learning what is SQL, how to use SQL and all the basics that you require not only in your competitive exams but also from the basics required in class 11, 12 and so on. Okay, so starting with what is SQL? SQL is nothing but firstly it is the acronym for structured query language as you must have seen in the uh, title slide also okay now structured query language basically means this is a special type of programming language so just like you have other programming languages like java c++ python r this is also a programming language why it is a programming language because you are you as humans are telling the computer to do something in certain following certain rules in one specific type of language that is the structured query language so firstly it is a programming language because it is a language through which we can instruct the computer to perform a specific task now within the programming language it is a query language query language basically means that it is a special kind of language that is used to query the databases and querying basically means asking okay so query means to ask and a query uh, language basically asks or uh, retrieves gets information from databases so a query language is used to get data or information from databases now you know what a database is a database is a storehouse of data information content that you have stored okay so apart from just asking about information sql also helps to create databases and perform other functions like modifying the contents and so on okay so the special thing about sql is that it is a special kind of programming language called the query language which is used used to get information or to access data from the database now what is the need to learn sql why will you have to uh, spend time in learning sql and why will you do so much of efforts let us answer this why sql is important to learn because it is utilized by major vendors and players that have developed relational databases so in the previous videos we have learned what are relational databases relational databases are databases that store data in the form of relations okay so many relational databases like mysql then you have oracle then you have SQL Server. All these are databases that use the structured query language to access their databases and retrieve information, perform uh, various other functions that are related to the database management. Okay, so the third prominent database that uses this uh, particular structured query language is SQL Server. There are many more. Uh, you can remember these three names that would be sufficient for your knowledge. So firstly, why we have to learn SQL? Because most of the popular databases like MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server utilize this uh, structured query language to access modify and create their databases second reason is that structured query language is very easy to understand why is it easy to understand because all the commands are written in English like words like there are statements select where from so all the words are very familiar with the human language that we use in uh, daily life so easy to understand because of two major reasons number one it uses English like words and it is not case sensitive okay so this is very uh, very nice for humans because you don't have to remember whether you are writing a particular word a particular command in capital or in small and so on so it is not case sensitive that is another advantage for us okay now the third point that makes SQL an important language to be learned is that we just have to specify what uh, com what function that we need to perform we don't want we don't have to specify how to perform it so using sql you just have to specify what has to be done whether you want to retrieve particular kind of data of a student so you'll just give the command uh, select 
uh, name of the student from this particular table or relation of the database now internally how sql will do it is not your concern so you do not specify how things have to be done you just specify what has to be done okay so you can leave all the details to the sql only okay the next point and the benefit also you can say instead of asking this question like why do we need to learn sql it can also be asked in your exam what are the benefits of learning sql okay so the next benefit of learning sql is that it allows for faster access of data faster retrieval of data or we can say more efficient retrieval or access to the database when we use uh, uh, sql rather than when we start manually giving commands and taking out data so sql makes it very quick very fast and helps us to get all the information that we want now uh, you must remember that sql is not only uh, you know though it is called a query query language it is not only a query language okay so you what you can do just let me change the screen let's go back to a new screen yeah so uh, apart from querying the sql language also does many other tasks query means to ask whether some information is present or not or just to see what information is stored in the database but with the help of sql you can also construct the database itself then you can modify or manipulate the data itself so first you can create the data construct or create the database now this involves specifying what will be the structure of the data how many tables will be present okay specifying how many relations will be present what will be the structure of those relations then what would be their name then what will be the constraints on these uh, relations and so on what is their structure what is their constraints how the data will be organized whether there are any limitations on the kind of information like the data types and so on then modify means to change the values to add new values once the data is stored or to delete even the values that are already stored so apart from just querying the sql allows you to create the database to modify the contents that are stored in it then you can ask the information uh, you can see what has been uh, what has been stored what changes have been uh, implemented that is also known as retrieving the information and you can perform all the operations related to the management of the database so this was all about structured query language or sql these are the benefits of learning sql basic commands we will be starting in the next video so stay tuned thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam